A disgraced dolphin trainer who committed suicide after video of him mistreating his dolphins surfaced is the subject of the Netflix documentary The Last Dolphin King. The trainer was involved in a debate over an animal rights issue that ended both his career and his life. The Last Dolphin King is a feature-length documentary about Jose Barbero, a renowned dolphin trainer who came under fire for allegedly abusing animals. Over 30 years of training animals were spent by the Spanish trainer, but a damning video ended his career. The film examines Barbero's career, including his high-profile appointment to the position of chief dolphin trainer and senior vice president at the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta, a position that resulted in a significant backlash from animal rights activists and ultimately contributed to his downfall. Jose Luis Barbero started working as a trainer at the Georgia Aquarium in early 2015, which should have been his ideal job. But soon after his appointment, a video that appeared to show Barbero striking and kicking a dolphin at the Marineland Aquarium in Majorca was widely circulated. The fact that the dolphins were trained in such an aggressive, violent way shocked and hurt me, said So's Delphine's president. Those things happened while he was in charge. The video cast a shadow over Barbero's long career and was covered by news organizations all over the world. Barbero had been employed by Marineland since the late 1980s, he was the target of an animal rights activist campaign, and he and his family started getting death threats. His wife claims that the entire experience had a profound impact on him. Then Barbero vanished, prompting a search operation. A few days later, his body was discovered in a car outside the airport in Majorca. The 59-year-old man reportedly killed himself, given that some people thought Barbero had been the target of a jealousy-fueled campaign. The Netflix documentary casts doubt on the veracity of the video that was used to attack him. Barbero used Facebook to speak out in defense of himself after the video was made public. I can only say from the recommendations of my lawyers that this video is a montage created to provoke a campaign challenging my professionalism over 35 years, he wrote. To defend his late colleague, Daniel Juarez, a fellow dolphin trainer and one of Barbero's friends, appeared in the documentary. According to him, Barbero had a special relationship with the Dolphins, who frequently awaited his arrival. Juarez claimed that Barbero was unpopular with some trainers because he required them to perform physically demanding work in order to put on the Dolphin shows. What day will The Last Dolphin King debut on Netflix?